The WBA TV for Green Screen Fun! I'm Ben, the youth leader of Teen Tiger TV. Hi, Ben. I'm Natalie. I'm the program director for the Coalition for Better Wallingford. That's yeah. you know a big thing that the Coalition tries to do right now is promote uh, good mental health. So the fact that people can come here and pursue their interests and be passionate about something is huge. With uh, content creating being so popular now and how it blew up during the pandemic, I'm personally surprised that there's not more young adults yeah, here fine-tuning cool. those skills oh, we're in see so many of them out the there. Wolf. So that's something I think we should, we could Everybody definitely gotta go collaborate on to get, yeah. get, yeah. get the kids here. Oh, oh, oh. It's a great kind of idea to have kids. It's kind of like a new interest because I think back when I was a kid and I didn't know here existed. I was always interested in making music, making videos. I never knew this was here until I was about 18 years old. Silence people of color, right now my lyrics is governing. Exactly you about to hear them, so take a look in the mirror. You exactly what they prefer, so never would tell the truth. They ain't ready for y'all to hear it, so. Tell me why I hate me. If I can't speak, then I ain't free. So you talk to me, please. Passionate about what you're doing, you're, you know, less likely to feel down. and. When feeling down or feeling blue, Here's what to do. Call 988. It's never too late. A lot of community interest stuff. The 10 to 14 year olds struggled the most in our community. I don't know if any of you guys are aware of this, but Wallingford Public Schools has a position in town called the Wallingford Wellness Coordinator. The Wellness Coordinator every year produces a survey for the high school students to take. And this was the first year that the middle schoolers were also able to take this survey. And what it was able to tell us was what the needs are for specific ages. And we found that the 10 to 14 year olds needed the most um, attention. They need to find a place in the community that doesn't involve um, destruction of property, um, drugs and uh, alcohol. We are also a safe space, really, I think. Try. So I would imagine if somebody really wanted to fine-tune TikTok skills or really was interested and passionate about learning more about green screening and software, that this would be the ideal place for them to come. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm too, Natalie. Natalie. Hello, I'm the Natalie. program director for the Coalition of a Better Wallingford. Fantastic. I was giggling off-screen because you mentioned Charlie bit my finger, and that's... It's one of like the, the OG viral yeah. videos. Isn't it 16 years old this year? Something like that? Probably. Something like, I remember the first time like I went to a friend's house and when you could cast to a television and watch YouTube videos. Google Chrome. Yeah, I'm like, are we doing this? Are we really doing this right now? Like, seriously? <laughs> and like, ever since then, yeah, that's what people do. They just gather around a phone and just share clips. It was so weird, like, noticing that moment when it happened. Like, we weren't meeting up to watch a movie or some TV show. Or maybe we started to do that, and someone was like, hey, have you seen this thing? And then we just started watching, like, these little little internet clips. I'm like, wow. Do you personally have a favorite content creator? My favorite content creator right now is probably a ch channel called Corridor Digital. Okay. They make um, their visual effects guys, and they do a series where they, they react to good and bad visual effects in films, which is very entertaining to me. That sounds funny. <laughs> It's it's pretty funny. If you've ever seen a movie and just like notice something like wonky in the background, they'll just like they'll tear it apart. Or if they see a video and like they can't figure out how it's done or it's done really well, like they'll also gush about that. So I love those guys and what they do. Coalition. I mean, it sounds like a fantastic coalition. The things that you were just describing to Ben about like uplifting kids and giving them an outlet and all those things. I, I think all nonprofits in town can agree and maybe sing the song of. Uh, community involvement is at an all-time low, and the stability of being able to offer the programs that we're so passionate about is also hard due to the lack of community involvement. Mm. So by creating these programs uh, with, uh, you know, the Youth Summer Program, we have a team of workers that come to us from Youth and Social Services, which is another strong community partner of ours. We are all, as, you know, nonprofits and 
town organizations all trying to accomplish the same things. And instead of, you know, doing it at your own pace or doing it at your own level, it's much easier and beneficial, I've noticed, to just collaborate with people. So whenever I start a new program or I start a new initiative, I try to loop everyone in that is relevant. Or when I see a nonprofit or a group that maybe not the word's not struggling, but could use some extra support or could benefit from teaming up, I like to invite them to things, just, you know, like being here, you know, to educate myself. Because as the program director, it's my job and obligation to come up with powerful opportunities for the community to, you know, bring the community together instead of, you know, this one's over here doing that, maybe Scow's out there doing a dance, where, it, you know, again, we're all doing the same things. It just makes sense to bring everybody together and work. Yep. And yeah, it makes complete sense. Like, community, better together. Mm. Everybody come together. I mean, I don't know what else more I can add to that. I had a few AI-generated questions, you know, for this event. One of the questions was, if your community was a flavor of ice cream, what would, the, what would it be and why? Um, the community would probably be cookies and cream because our community is very sweet and they all work together and come together just like how cookies and cream is so good together. Mm -hmm.